Welcome back to Anycalls Productions and um, today I'll be doing a review of a ROM for you guys and this ROM is basically for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus i9250 and the ROM basically which I'll be testing out today is um, Cyanogen Mods uh, M Snapshot series of ROMs and this one is built around uh, the 4.1.2 firmware um, so it's the it's the M2 uh, Maguro experimental build uh, and um, I'll leave a link down in the description in case you want to get it and try it on your device um, so yeah let's just get into it so basically what I'll start off with is by doing a quick uh, boot up test so right now it's uh, fully powered off and I'll just show you how quickly this ROM boots up and for comparison I'll be timing it so I'll use my iPad here to time it and here is my timer and so I'll hit the start button as soon as I turn it on I have started it so let's see how fast this starts up and I'll probably hit the stop once it finishes booting up and I'll show you the boot animation that it has. It has this Cyanogen Mods custom boot animation, which really looks slick, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so it's it looks great. And yeah, there it goes. Uh, it took about 25 seconds uh, to boot up, and that's pretty fast. It boot up in less than 30 seconds. So uh, in for comparison, my Galaxy S3 boots up in around 19 to 20 seconds. So it's just around five seconds slower than the uh, Galaxy S3 and uh, the Galaxy S3 is a quad core phone while this is a dual core phone and it's running uh, some really outdated specs now uh, but yeah the ROM is very optimized and uh, so yeah this just shows you how optimized it is uh, with the speed at, at which it boots up and other than that uh, if you can see the interface is pretty standard over what you find on uh, Cyanogen mod uh, builds and I'll just show you uh, the the details about the firmware so it's running off for Android 4.1.2 this is Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean which is the latest version of uh, Jelly Bean for this device I know there is Jelly Bean 4.2 that's soon to be released I think uh, I think the Nexus 4 will ship with Jelly Bean 4.2 and hopefully we'll get it as well um, other than that I'll just also run a quick benchmark to show you the scores I get and what I'll be using is Quadrant Standards and I'll run full benchmarks and um, while it's running I'll talk to you guys about the performance I get on this device uh, now being a dual core device I uh, and running Cyanogen mod on it I really don't think I need a quad core device that's how fast this uh, this uh, this ROM is on this device so uh, it's very really optimized so a great job by the Cyanogen mod team obviously um, and everything works fine I've, I've not really come across any bugs or glitches on this ROM and uh, it's pretty stable as well so yeah a good job by Cyanogen mod um, the only downside to this ROM is a few games are incompatible like Shadowgun uh, so yeah, and a few apps might be incompatible with it. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess it's due to the firmware or something like that. Uh, other than that, it's great. Uh, it has a lot of uh, customization, but not as much as AOKP ROMs uh, or Para Android ROMs. Um, but it offers de decent amount of customization as well. So that's another good feature. And I'll just show you after the benchmarks are done. So they're almost done here. So uh, the score I get is 2270, which is not bad, I would say. Uh, now, for all everyone who is into tech knows that benchmarks are just one side of the coin, while as the everyday performance is another. So everyday performance, this thing is a beast on this ROM. Uh, while the benchmarks may not be as high, that's because the 
the the hardware it's running is a bit outdated uh, so yeah this was a quick benchmark now I'll also show you the amount of customization you can do on this ROM so firstly you have your settings like your network sec settings and it also allows you to uh, toggle between your aeroplane mode it has your uh, tethering option here and allows you to turn on and off NFC by simply tapping here and you can also turn it on back if you want then it allows you to run in 2G uh, mode to save battery life as well which is really great and I use this all the time because the battery life on this phone is not the best out there it allows you to toggle between uh, data here and yeah that's in the networks department it allows you to change your uh, launcher settings from here it allows you to change your home screen size your grids your icons your things like your search bar uh, you can allow it to resize widgets as well um, and you can do the same for your drawers uh, your app drawer um, now if you want you can go ahead and download themes as well it comes default with only one theme which is your system and this is standard for all Cyanogen mod ROMs then it allows you to change some system settings such as your wallpapers which is nothing great uh, your notification drawer so there are a few settings which you can do you can turn off some widgets on from your notification bar uh, you can also change uh, some settings on your navigation bar so for example if i want to add another button i can uh, so yeah that's great as well um, and it also has uh, some settings here uh, the most useful which i find is uh, changing your gpu clock speed so by default it's on 3 of 7.2 megahertz you can clock it up to around 384 megahertz as well as 512 megahertz i leave it at 3 or 7 as default because um, uh, because i don't really think that uh, i see a huge improvement in performance uh, the rom is so optimized that all games just work great on the stock uh, 307 megahertz so yeah I don't really find the need to overclock your GPU um, it also has your uh, it also gives you the options to change your CPU clock speed as well so here if you can go and you can here see what your current frequency is it also gives you the option to change your CPU governor uh, usually it's set to interactive uh, I usually stay on interactive or on demand which seem to work the best um, it also allows you to change your minimum and maximum frequencies I usually uh, I usually stay at two, 200 megahertz and I use another kernel I usually use the Franco kernel uh, because I think it's pretty much stabler than what this kernel uh, is and it also allows me to underclock my CPU so basically what frequencies I use are 200 megahertz for the minimum and uh, about a gigahertz for the maximum and even on those frequencies this ROM really really is smooth I don't really find uh, any downsides to underclocking uh, this ROM and running on 200 megahertz for minimum and 1 gigahertz for maximum other than that you have your standard layout uh, your, your standard stock interface so yeah in that department everything is stock uh, and nothing much to it uh, and I'll just also show you the web browsing performance which is great on this so for the sake of it uh, it's opening up Engadget by default so I'll just show you how panning around zooming and stuff works on this so here you can see I'm panning around zooming and stuff and it's very very fluid it's as fluid as my Galaxy S3 to be honest and I'm not exaggerating when I say that if you can see scrolling here uh, there's almost no lag or no delay or no checkerboarding and to be honest I sometimes when I'm running the stock uh, ROM on my Galaxy SC they, I find there to be a bit of uh, checkerboarding uh, here you can see there is absolutely no checkerboarding whatsoever I'll also open GSM Arena uh, and there you can see how fast it uh, renders the web page and yeah that's about a couple or maybe three seconds and it's fully loaded and then you can pan around zoom and bloody well smooth uh, so yeah overall this is a great ROM and for those who like the stock uh, look but a really fast ROM this by far is one of the best choice and Cyanogen mod overall make really great ROM 
so yeah thanks guys for watching and overall i give this rom around uh a good 9.5 out of 10 so yeah thanks guys for watching this ending code peace out and guys i'll be doing uh, reviews of uh more roms uh, if you want i'll be doing the aokp rom and the para android rom reviews as well so stay tuned for that and yeah thanks guys for watching and you could peace out